Over the past years, the relationship between the U.S. and China has been increasingly strained as the U.S. has become wary of China's civil military strategy to ensure that economic and military advances go hand in hand with scientific and technological innovation. The expansion of U.S. export controls and trade sanctions against China over advanced technology, especially in the aviation sector, is likely to affect the Chinese-made C919 narrow-body passenger jet. The narrow-body C919 from China Commercial Aircraft Corporation, COMAC, was developed to compete with Airbus and Boeing. The aircraft entered service in China in May 2023 after being licensed domestically in 2022. China's C919 aviation project, typically the C919 larger airliner, has become a significant breakthrough and challenge in the global aviation industry. It rewrote the competitive landscape and provoked geopolitical reactions. The U.S. sanctions to stop supplying aircraft engines are a major challenge for China. So, how will the Chinese-made C919 be affected? How can China respond and find a new direction for its aviation industry? We'll explore that later in this video. But before that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support us, helping top wonders produce even more unique and amazing content to share with you. At the 2023 Shanghai International Commercial Air Show, the C919 aircraft was China's trump card. Based on the needs of different markets, the C919 is China's most modern airliner designed independently and aims to compete with Airbus and Boeing. Currently, the C919 has received 8,815 orders, mainly from China Airlines and leasing companies. The standard model of the C919 can carry 168 passengers and has a range of 4,075 kilometers. According to COMAC, the two newly launched derivatives will have different performance and features. The stripped down or plateau version of the C919 is designed to operate at elevated airports. It can carry 140 passengers. It has a two-class layout and a range of 3,000 kilometers. The fuselage length of this model is approximately 34 meters, six meters shorter than the standard model. The wings and engines are unchanged. COMAC says the stripped-down or plateau version of the C919 can meet the transport needs of the Western region. It's suitable for takeoff and landing at airports in the Highland region and has strong Highland adaptability. On the other hand, the enhanced version of the C919 is designed to work in medium and long ranges. It can carry 210 passengers in a two-class layout and has a range of 4,500 kilometers. The fuselage length of this model is about 45 meters, 7.4 meters longer than the standard model. The wings and engines have been improved accordingly. COMAC says the expanded C919 can meet the demands of operating between major cities in China and the Asia-Pacific region with high transport efficiency. The launch of this series of modifications has added flexibility and applicability to the C919's market application and enhances COMAC's competitiveness in the global aviation market. COMAC has not disclosed the specific development timeline and delivery time of the C919 derivatives, but claims that it will gradually drive economic development. Currently, the C919 standard model has entered service in China in May 2023. After being licensed domestically in 2022, the first aircraft has been delivered to China Eastern and has completed operational verification on more than 100 routes. The second aircraft was delivered to China Eastern Airlines in October 2023 and is currently operating on this route. It's estimated that the Highland version C919 is about 34 meters long, while the extended version C919 is about 45 meters long. These dimensions are similar to the Airbus A320 Neo series that inspired the released Comac images and models. The smaller C919 
had only a single emergency window in the middle of the fuselage, while the longer C919 had a third door at the rear of the aircraft. With China's ambitions to be self-sufficient in this area, the launch of the commercial jet series is a natural step in the global aviation industry. China's C919 larger airliner represents a new breakthrough and challenge, not only rewriting the competitive landscape of the international aviation market, but also provoking a series of geopolitical reactions. Especially in the context of strong economic and social development, the C919 project is both a technological breakthrough and an expression of the significance of technological competition between China and the United States. To us, media reported that Boeing has not taken any more orders from China since 2018, a change that has undoubtedly had huge impacts on Boeing and even the U.S. aviation industry. In this game, the role and impact of the C919 is also particularly noteworthy. So China has aroused the displeasure of most officials because they did not buy Boeing aircraft. Some U.S. media have reported that even if the U.S. pays $80 billion in damages, it will still stop producing China's C919 aviation leap engine. We all know that although the C919 is China's first large aircraft with independent engines, it does not mean that it is 100% domestically produced. Of course, it is impossible to achieve 100% domestic civil aviation passenger aircraft production even though Boeing and Airbus aircraft cannot achieve 100% domestic production. Their domestic production rates are not as high as the C919. Therefore, it is inevitable that the United States and Western countries will use key parts and components to strangle China. From a technical perspective, C919 relies on international cooperation core technology related to the level of independent innovation and localization. The research and development process has demonstrated the enormous potential of China's aviation industry at the geopolitical level. The progress and success of the C919 project directly touched the core interest of the U.S. aviation industry. Boeing's failure as the U.S. aviation industry leader in the Chinese market not only affected the company's financial performance, but also served as a warning about the global competitiveness of the U.S. aviation industry. U.S. media reveal that the U.S. could use the suspension of leapfrogging engine supplies as a bargaining chip to force China to buy Boeing aircraft. More prominent is the aspect of market competition. The C919 has core competitiveness that manifests itself not only in technological advancement, but also in overall strength. Behind the success of China's aviation industry is the success of the C919. It was China's major leap forward in high-end manufacturing, which also marked the transformation of China's role in the global aviation market, from traditional market participants to competitors and policymakers. Although the C919 initially relied on international cooperation on development stages, such as using the leapfrogging engine of General Electric of the United States, China has been actively promoting research and development of its own engine. With restrictions from the U.S., China's aviation supply chain is facing increasing pressures. In this context, China has found a new direction for itself. The Yi River engine has always been considered by China as the most suitable aviation engine for the C919, and its suitability is even more than the LEAP engine. However, China must consider obtaining an international airworthiness certificate for its C919 aircraft. The LEAP engine has passed international airworthiness standards, so China's achievement has changed its role at the negotiating table. It can be said to be an effective response to a potential U.S. technological blockade while reflecting the breakthroughs of China's aviation industry. U.S. attitudes and actions towards the C919 project reflect the intensifying competition between China and the United States in the high-tech sector. It's worth noting, however, that these actions did not hinder the progress of the C919 project but instead inspired China's determination 
to promote independent innovation and breakthroughs in core technologies. Whether they face U.S. technology and market containment strategies, China's response strategies are diverse. On the one hand, reducing its dependence on key external technologies by accelerating research and, on the other hand, developing independent engines. The huge potential of China's aviation market and its globalization strategy also creates space for cooperation with countries. In the end, the U.S. strategy failed, while simultaneously accelerating the development path of China's aviation industry. The success of the C919 project has strengthened China's voice in the global aviation market and also brought new thinking to Chinese competition and cooperation in the field of high technology. The C919 project is not only the birth of the aircraft, but also marks China's rise in global high-end manufacturing and the transformation of its role in the international aviation market. In the confrontation between the Chinese and American aviation industries, the C919 demonstrates not only China's technological prowess, but also the importance of diversified cooperation. In the future, the development of China's aviation industry will continue to seek new breakthroughs, contributing to the diversified development of the global aviation market. The Civil Aviation Administration of China CAAC said in January that it planned to increase promotion of the C919 this year. Their goal this year is to push Europe to license the aircraft. After the Singapore Air Show, Comac flew the C919 to several Asian countries, including Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia, to meet with airlines and government officials. European officials, meanwhile, have said that more time is needed to evaluate the C919, which has dented China's expectations of quickly capturing the market. The success story of the C919 is a story of not only technological breakthroughs, but also strategic vision and international cooperation. It demonstrates China's new role in aviation as not only a market player, but also a leader in technological innovation and industrial development as competition in the global aviation industry becomes increasingly fierce the c919 provides valuable experience on how to maintain competitiveness and autonomy in a complex international environment china's perseverance and resilience in the c919 project has provided important inspiration for other countries around the world to pursue technological independence and industrial upgrading in the face of external pressure and challenges, China did not give up or give in, but redoubled its efforts and accelerated the pace of independent renovation. This spirit is worth learning. The story of the C919 also reminds us that future industrial competition will rely more on technological innovation and international cooperation. No country can achieve every breakthrough in technology and industrial development independently. So it's necessary to build an open and mutually beneficial cooperation environment. This is an important milestone for manufacturing in China. We have reason to believe that the skies will be more diverse in the future and the development of aviation technology will be increasingly interesting. Thank you for joining us. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, share, and leave your comments below. And please subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up to date with more wonderful things. Bye for now, and see you again in the next Top Wonders video.